Judging by the lines at the square booth at this year's E3, the concept of three powerful women taking out the bad guy is not a bad idea for a video game. But this might not be the game you'd expect. Yeah. No, this is the premise behind the next huge RPG from Square, Final Fantasy X-2. The events in Final Fantasy X-2 takes place two years after the events of Final Fantasy X. Basically, it's been two years of calm since the defeat of Sin in the original Final Fantasy X. Someone brought to Yuna's attention a sphere, which appears to show the image of a love that she thought she had lost forever. So she needs to get to the bottom of the mystery. The characters that will be reappearing in Final Fantasy X-2 will be Yuna and Riku, and we will have a new character named Pain as well. the beginning of the Final Fantasy universe, fans have been wondering when a true sequel would be created. Now, after 10 games bearing the famous moniker, the wait is over. The reason we created a sequel is because we developed this great engine on a great new platform. It was just a very rich world, rich environments, great characters that everybody loved that we wanted to go back and revisit and really flex our technological might from working on the PlayStation 2 and really learning the hardware. Of course, coming from the Final Fantasy world, these aren't any normal girls. They'll need their quick wits and quicker weapons to maneuver through this game. Final Fantasy X-2 is much more fast-paced than Final Fantasy X. We go back to the active turn-based system that we used in Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy IX, where you have a certain amount of time before the enemies start attacking you again. So you can't just sit there and think forever about what you want to do. You have to be quick on your feet, and we feel that that fits in very well with the fast-paced storylines as well, because now Yuna has the abilities to jump, climb, do all kinds of other good stuff. This game has all the classic themes of a true Final Fantasy game with a good dose of humor and girl power thrown in. If you want to know more about this hot new title, just check back here in the coming months because we're going to go one-on-one -on -one with the creators of Final Fantasy X-2. From time to time, a game emerges that is so fun and so addictive that it becomes ruler of its genre. In the world of role-playing games, the Final Fantasy series is king. In the last installment of the series, Final Fantasy X, the creators came up with a cast of characters and locations that were so compelling that no one wanted to leave it all behind. So for the first time in Final Fantasy history, there is a true sequel, Final Fantasy X-2. There has never been a true sequel to a Final Fantasy game, one that keeps the same storyline and characters. Since it's never been done, I never considered doing it for Final Fantasy X. Because the quality of X was so high and it was so well liked by everyone, a sequel was highly encouraged. We were already considering a sequel because we'd never done that before in the Final Fantasy series. I think the appeal of the characters and the world presented in X stayed in our hearts and the users' hearts. The idea for the sequel actually originated with a short story that was included with the international version of Final Fantasy X called The Eternal Calm. In Japan, we released the international version and we added a short story, approximately 20 minutes long, about what happened afterward. Many users told us they wanted to see even more. So ultimately, The Eternal Calm is an epilogue to X and prologue to X-2. Like all good sequels, Ten Two manages to strike just the right balance between introducing new elements and returning to the familiar favorites of the original. In this case, the creators brought back two characters we've met before, Yuna and Riku, and introduces them to a girl named Pain. Put these three females together and you've got an unstoppable trio, with the right skills that can save any town and topple any beast. We wanted to try something different that we hadn't done in the Final Fantasy series. We never before tried a version that was centered on female characters. 
Since Yuna happened to be one of the main characters in Ten, we decided to move our focus to her and her friends by having them go on a journey. In this version, I wanted women to play with the emotion of being the main characters themselves. One change from Final Fantasy X that you will really appreciate is all of the great costumes that not only give you additional abilities but also make you look good. In the world of Ten Two, there is a thing called a dress gear, which allows characters to change their costumes. And by inserting it into the garment grid, the costume change becomes possible, within limits. Also, the garment grid itself has some functions. During a battle, the more costume changes that happen, the more powerful it becomes. This version was made so that if a player cannot win with one particular job, he or she can switch to another. The personality of each one is so strong and unique, it might become clear that they can win with one job, but not with another. Switching between the spheres makes the battle easier. But on the other hand, the longer a player studies the job, the more powerful they become by learning new abilities. Gamers will also appreciate changes made to the battle system. They are now in real time and allow the characters to move around simultaneously, harkening back to the days of previous Final Fantasy games. In the last version, time stops during the battles, and the player can take time to think while fighting, as he and the enemy alternate turns. In this version, we use the active time battle system, as we did in 9 and in earlier versions. It allows real-time battle with time running. Also, we upgraded the system so the two can move simultaneously or can counterattack. Compared to 10, 10 2 is much more action oriented. And for those of you who have never played a Final Fantasy game, you've been missing out, but it's not too late. You can jump right into this one without knowing a thing about the past. New players can completely enjoy Final Fantasy X-2. The battles and the character development are created in a way that users can have fun, even if they didn't play the previous version. Whether the girls are dressed to kill or dressed to boogie, you'll have plenty of opportunities to explore and test their powers within a truly non-linear atmosphere. You have the freedom to jump from mission to mission, experience different endings, and really control your own fate. The highlight of this version is the freedom given to the player, both in battle and in determining the scenario. In Final Fantasy X, the players followed the story. This time, they create their own story and write their own endings. Because there are so many possible endings, the player can play the game almost endlessly. And if you prefer a little guidance in going from one mission to the next, feel free to use a tool called Active Link. It can come in pretty handy. Active Link is something that leads a player to the next location after clearing a mission. Though the story is up to the player, this will help players decide what they might want to check out next. And if you have played Final Fantasy before, then you're in for another awesome adventure. I guess that playing Final Fantasy X will make it even more fun. What can I say? I think attachment and knowledge of Spira allows one to realize and appreciate some of the differences of X2. So it looks like the creators of Final Fantasy X2 thought they could win our hearts and devotion yet again by simply giving us a fun plot, updated locations, more freedom, and an action-oriented battle system. And they were right.